down at Crystal Beach. Um, it's, uh, what is it? I don't know, something of October anyway. Thanksgiving, that's what it is. Anyway, I've come down to Lake Erie. It looks quite calm today, but I've just been told way out there. Um, someone just told me, the fishing guys have just told the, this guy, there's like eight foot waves out there. But you won't think of it here. Uh, so we're going to go out there so we can find. I uh, wasn't going to make a video, but like always, I always carry a camera around, see what happens. I brought my drone with me as well because there's not much wind. I'm going to get some, if the sun pops out, I'm going to get some colours of the trees around the lighthouse. So it's just going to be a small video so we get some waves and see so what we can do. So let's go have some fun. All right, within the blink of an eye, <laughs> Lake Erie just changed. Literally, I just, as I was ready to launch, it was quite flat. And uh, as I got back, I noticed my CD was getting banged around a lot. And look at it now, we've got some big swells here. Literally in the last <laughs> two or three minutes. So, and the skies have gone really, really dark. So, I'm gonna go up to the lighthouse first, see how that is. And then we'll make our way over to uh, maybe uh, Fort Erie, but we'll keep an eye on those swells. This time I'll try not to lose any gloves. Lost a few pairs last year. There we go, it's better. Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, I was airborne, man. Totally airborne. Every now and then, like there's really big swell comes. Not this one. But yeah, this one's getting bigger. No. Okay, the one way out there is getting big now, I can see it. Well, here we go. Oh my, Jesus! Whoa! I'm flat! Oh, this one's big, this one's big. Holy moly! <laughs> I'm coming right out of the water, I'm only doing 50. My God! down a minute. Let me catch one of these on camera. Coming towards a bit slower. <clears throat> Unfortunately the GoPro doesn't always pick these big waves up like this one here. That's like my feet. <laughs> My plan on going to the lighthouse didn't quite happen. Uh, the waves were getting bigger and bigger the closer I got to the lighthouse. Uh, by the time I got closer to it, I actually put the camera away and there's quite a lot of white caps out that way. Uh, also, with the uh, big swells out there, one minute you can be 10 feet above the, uh, the, the lake floor and as you hit a swell, you can be like literally bottoming them out on a rock. So I decided, you know what, it wasn't worth it. So I turned around, headed towards uh, Fort Erie where the weather was a little bit better and a touch warmer.
down this river uh, dozens of times over the past 18 months. And I've never actually really got close to the wall, uh, which is strange because I come down here quite often looking at storms and doing some of the storm chasing stuff. Uh, watching these, uh, when we get those uh, sages uh, or storm surges which come down the river, pushes the water higher than the wall. You can see a lot of destruction that's happened over the years. So uh, let's see how close I can get to these walls and have a good look. It's interesting to see it from this point of view, from this side. So used to be on the other side of my look. Eight feet of water, I'm good. So you can see all the repairs that have been done over the years. And this big stretch was broken out not so long ago. And look at it, it's still uh, not repaired. Uh, it's got the concrete jersey barriers on the other side of it. I think I highlighted that ooh, last fall after a storm. And that's what it looked like, it still hasn't been fixed. Uh, the damage to that wall actually dates back to about three years ago. I got some footage which I recorded on Halloween uh, 2019. And as you can see, the water is higher than the wall itself. And these waves coming across the grass here. So the lake's right in front of you. That's Buffalo, you can see. Look, the wall's completely gone on this video. And those are waves coming right off the river, right along the grass, and right onto the main road. Uh, so you can see how much force is in that river. Don't forget, it's flowing probably like 25 kilometers an hour on a rough day maybe a bit stronger and it's just torn that wall down and it's just pushed all the water and every year they try and repair it it just keeps getting back uh, knocked down again by another storm oh, look at the beautiful fall colors down here though we've got a bit of red now we've got the yellows now do you remember the uh, video of the ice wall that uh, hit down here about Ooh, five years ago well basically what would have happened is all the ice on Lake Erie with the strong westerly winds would have broken through uh, the ice boom and it would have come all the way along here just shoved along and it got pushed with the uh, slight southwesterly winds up against this wall and as it uh, got pushed further and further down it had nowhere to go and eventually it breached the wall uh, just further down here actually So that ice would have pushed all the way down here. Uh, when, it, when it met this bend in the river, well, the bend in the wall, I should say, which is, uh, oh, the wind just picked up. Right there, it had nowhere to go. It kind of just got stuck. So the pressure of it uh, just eventually made it just pop over the wall, took the wall out completely, and it just kept going higher and higher and higher, and built an amazing ice shelf, <laughs> and a massive ice wall right here at the bottom of uh, Fort Erie. Uh, it was a spectacular sight, which was uh, shown all over the world. Oh, by the way, my hat fell in the water as it was coming down here. Um, I had a bit of an itch, and I was trying to just get to it, and I managed to just pull the, this off enough for the, uh, the wind to get underneath it. I think that hat's had its day, really. It fits a lot looser than what it used to. So it's probably falling in the water one too many times. I got overstretched. But yeah, so there you have it. This is where the... Uh, Ice wall, the ice shelf just came right ashore, right here. And in front of us is the Peace Bridge, which is, it looks like static traffic. Just drifting into the current now. Get out of this shallow water here. It's actually not too bad, I've seen it a lot worse than this uh, on the Niagara River. It's actually quite calm. That might have a lot to do with the uh, the northerly winds which are uh, prevailing today but once you get a westerly or a southwest or even a southerly wind uh, the river here the entrance to the Niagara River uh, as all the water gets funneled in uh, it gets very very dangerous I may be nearly a thousand miles away from the closest ocean, uh, but this part of the Great Lakes, Lake Erie, as you funnel into the Niagara River, does offer this unique experience of riding through rapids, whirlpools, and so on. It's very exciting, I enjoy it. Uh, it's always a big thrill to come down here. Uh, today though was actually a very calm day, like I said, uh, but there's many days I've been down here where the water's flowing a lot faster and it's a lot more fun. And I recommend it for anyone who wants to come out on their jet ski, sea do, head down to Crystal Beach, launch up there or launch on the Fort Erie River or even Chippewa and just check out the, uh, the, the ride underneath the Peace Bridge. It's always fun. It's always 
fun coming down here. <laughs> Never get bored of it. There's a guy standing in the water right there, fishing. Now, I wouldn't do it, I don't care how uh, good of a fisherman you are. Uh, this current is uh, way too strong for uh, a 180 pound guy to just be standing there. Uh, one wrong step and uh, he's toast, he's gone. He'll be lucky if he makes it to shore again. But, uh, those are the risks you take, I guess. It's that little beach here. One of the things I really love to do when I'm out on my sea do is uh, go on the Niagara River, turn the engine off, and just drift with the current. Majority of the time, it keeps you pretty close to the middle of the uh, river. So when it's quiet like this and there's no boats zipping around, it's nice to just shut off, grab the coffee, and enjoy. As you can see from behind, I've got no engine running, and we're moving at a good pace right now. Um, 5.6, 5.4 miles per hour. <laughs> so, yeah, moving pretty good. currently in 60 feet of water and just drifting down the river life life is great this is my therapy but when you're down and you're stressed sometimes it's just nice to get out on your own and just have a bit of time away from everything away from computers away from the tv away from humans just on your own for an hour it's nice
a problem with GoPro, it doesn't serve justice. I'm looking at waves here, like big rollers. It's hard to tell on the camera. It's a big one, just brewing. people on that beach uh, today one two three maybe four that's it hurry up back summer <laughs> i'm not a fan of the winter at all not at all all right that's it another ride over and done with winter is getting close it's a shame really five months of not being out on the water sucks and i hate winter Keep going as long as I can though. Till next time, stay safe. <laughs>